think the big one that a lot of people remember is Fabrice Moamba and um, when he he collapsed on the pitch. Um, I remember watching that game because it was an evening game. After, so on the way back on the coach, we were watching it and it was a big um, big thing at the time and everyone was a bit worried. Um, but luckily, you know, he, he pulled through. Um, but now that's nowadays there's club doctors and his paramedics that make that are able to give a rapid response if there's any problems such as that suffered by Fabrice Mwamba um, and I think even more recently now um, you can get more uh, more prompt diagnosis in terms of if there, there is a defect with your heart. But why does this happen? Footballers are seen to be very fit and healthy so surely cardiac issues shouldn't affect them. Sadly cardiac issues can affect all of us even those who are very fit, as we found out when we spoke to cardiac consultant Mr. Colvin Delal. I think I think it's always been there. I just think that the pickup rate has become much higher now, and where the awareness of it has become higher, uh, it's primarily related to arrhythmia problems uh, arising from something called hokum, which is hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. And what happens is the muscle of the heart becomes quite bulky and starts throwing off the arrhythmias, and it happens primarily in younger patients. So, how do football clubs test for this? We asked Jamil to describe his experience of cardiac testing in football and spoke to Colvinda about what the outcome of this testing should be. Um, I remember something a bit new to me. Um, I was taking my physio to see the, to see the doctor and they carried out an ECG um, on my heart, which at that time for me was a little bit worrying just because it was something I was, um, wasn't used to. But um, it was made to be, to be known that it was routine and something that that um, all clubs and all players were now now going through. And I think over time what struck me is that if you if I look back to when I signed for Fleetwood to when I signed here at Newport, um, the questionnaire and the kind of medical history um, questions was, is a lot more extensive now and so it's taken that a lot more serious. Uh, all professional footballers now have to go mandatory uh, cardiac screening which includes an echocardiogram uh, and uh, monitoring and uh, there's no way of really preventing it unfortunately if you're going to get it you're going to get it but uh, what they do advise is uh, that if, if it is picked up then that is probably the end of your career.